official. The Kansas Speedway is getting another NASCAR Sprint Cup race. The announcement today is a big payoff for even bigger gamble. Lindsay Shively joins us live from the Speedway with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Curtis and Krista. This Sprint Cup race, this extra date, is going to bring in $100 million a year on top of everything that the Speedway and this entertainment district brings in, the Legends, uh, the T-Bone Stadium, all of that. And this was a gamble because local, state, and Speedway officials decided to go ahead and build this casino in hopes that they would get this date. And getting this extra race date is the fulfillment of that promise. This extra date is going to be on June 5th, it's spring, a little bit cooler than it is right now that they say they're very happy about. The original Sprint Race Cup date is going to be on October 9th, and this is a great thing for race fans and for drivers and for NASCAR, but even more so a great thing for the residents of Wyandotte County. You know, to have an economic engine that not only brings the dollars in the doors, but creates opportunities for our citizens to go to work each and every day, that's critically important in moving a community forward. Those jobs he's talking about being at the new casino. And a lot of things that race fans are excited about, these lights are one of them. These are lights that are going to allow the Speedway to have night races. They did say today that both of these NASCAR Sprint Cup races are going to be in the daytime. But they are going to start looking ahead to see what other races in the following race season that they can have at night once these lights are good to go. They haven't decided how they're going to break up the tickets for these two race dates yet. And uh, that will be more to come. We're live at the Speedway. Lindsay Shively, NBC. Action News.